Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on our channel Immortal News. Today we'll be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away, with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours. As always, we have special tributes in our today's top headline section. Before we proceed, we kindly ask for your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's begin, thank you. Number 9. Kevin Turen, a luminary in film and television production. Kevin Turen, an esteemed producer known for his work on critically acclaimed projects like Euphoria and The Idol, passed away unexpectedly at the age of 44. Born on August 16, 1979, in New York City, Turen's passion for cinema led him to study at Columbia University before embarking on a distinguished career in Los Angeles. Turen's impact in the film industry was profound. He first made his mark with Larry Clark's Wassup Rockers and went on to collaborate with Sam Levinson in producing Malcolm and Marie. His portfolio showcased a remarkable range, including Trey Schultz's Waves, Nicholas Jarecki's Arbitrage, Nate Parker's The Birth of a Nation, Cornell Mondruzzo's Pieces of a Woman, Raman Barani's 99 Homes, and T. West's X Trilogy. In television, Turen's expertise shone through in projects like Levinson's Euphoria and The Idol and Olivier Assayas's Irma Vep. His talent and vision brought stories to life, leaving an indelible mark on audiences and the industry. Jay Penske, CEO of Deadline's parent company PMC and a close friend of Turen, reflected on his life, emphasizing that beyond his Hollywood success, Turen was a devoted family man. His greatest pride was his children, Jack and James, and his life with his wife, Evelina. Penske remarked on the profound sense of loss felt by many, noting Turen as one of Hollywood's brightest rising stars. Turen's legacy extends beyond the screen, remembered for his profound commitment to his family and his influence in shaping compelling narratives in film and television. He leaves behind a void in the hearts of his family, friends, and colleagues in the entertainment industry. Tribute to Kevin Turen. Number 8. Marianne Trump Barry, a distinguished jurist and presidential sibling. Marianne Trump Barry, a respected former federal judge and the older sister of former President Donald Trump, passed away at the age of 86. She was found in her Fifth Avenue apartment, with early reports indicating a possible cardiac arrest. Her death marks a significant moment for the Trump family, as she was a prominent figure in her own right. Appointed to the U.S. District Court for the District of New Jersey by President Ronald Reagan in 1983, Barry's judicial career was marked by her integrity and dedication to justice. In 1999, she was appointed to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit by President Bill Clinton, showcasing her bipartisan respect. Barry retired in 2019 amidst an investigation into alleged fraudulent tax and financial transactions involving her family, which closed without conclusion upon her retirement. Her death follows that of two of Donald Trump's siblings, Robert Trump in August 2020, and Fred Trump Jr. in September 1981. Marianne Trump Barry's relationship with her brother Donald was complex, especially towards the end of his presidency. Revelations from their niece Mary, including released audio recordings, highlighted some familial tensions. However, sources indicated that the siblings were on the path to mending their relationship, having been seen together recently. Marianne Trump Barry's legacy as a senior judge and as part of a high-profile family leaves a notable imprint in both the legal world and the public consciousness. Tribute to Marianne Trump Barry. Number 7. Stephen Candell master storyteller and architect of iconic television moments. Stephen Candell, a celebrated screenwriter whose career spanned over four decades and influenced the landscape of American television, passed away on October 21st at the age of 96. Candell, known for his extensive and diverse work, died of natural causes in his Boston apartment 
leaving behind a legacy of storytelling that shaped many of TV's classic shows. Kendall's journey in television was marked by his contributions to a plethora of series, ranging from Sea Hunt to the iconic Star Trek, Batman, and MacGyver. His work was not just limited to writing. Kendall co-created Iron Horse, a drama that showcased his versatility. His episodes for Sea Hunt and Star Trek remain memorable, especially his unique portrayal of the character Harry Mudd in Star Trek. Kandel's ability to craft engaging stories was evident in shows like Batman, where he penned episodes featuring villains like the Joker and the Penguin. Beyond television and film, Kandel also ventured into writing books, with his latest being The Lion King, a tragical tale of tawdry trumpery, in 2020. Kandel leaves behind his wife Anne, to whom he was married for 66 years, his children Jessica, Anthony, Elizabeth, and Joanna, and 11 grandchildren. His sister, Beat Generation poet Lenore Candell, predeceased him. Stephen Candell's death marks the end of an influential chapter in television history, but his work continues to resonate with audiences, cementing his place as a master storyteller. Tribute to Stephen Candell. Number 6. Joe Tilson, a transformative force in British pop art. Joe Tilson, a pivotal figure in the British pop art movement and a respected royal academician, passed away at the age of 94. Born on August 24, 1928 in London, Tilson's journey in art began after serving in the Royal Air Force from 1946 to 1949. He honed his skills at St. Martin's School of Art and the Royal College of Art where he formed associations with notable artists like Frank Auerbach, Leon Kossoff, and David Hockney. Tilson's career took a significant turn in the 1960s as he emerged as a leading name in British pop art. Known for his innovative wooden reliefs and constructions, he captivated the art world with his first solo show at Marlborough Gallery London in 1962. His international acclaim was cemented with his participation in the 32nd Venice Biennale in 1964, followed by retrospectives in Rotterdam, Vancouver, and Bristol. The 1970s marked a philosophical shift in Tilson's work. Moving to Wiltshire in 1972, he began incorporating diverse materials like stone, straw, and rope, drawing inspiration from pre-classical mythology. This period gave birth to his renowned Alcara series. Tilson's prolific career included exhibitions worldwide, culminating in a major retrospective at the Royal Academy of Arts in 2002. His contributions were recognized with awards such as the Gulbenkian Foundation Prize and the Grand Prix d'Honneur at the Biennale of Ljubljana. In 2019, he was commissioned for an installation at the Venice Biennial, showcasing his enduring influence in the art world. Survived by his family, Joe Tilson leaves behind a legacy that transcends time and culture, embodying a bridge between the traditional and the modern in art. Tribute to Joe Tilson. Number 5. Joan Jara, guardian of Victor Jara's legacy. Joan Jara, a fervent activist, dancer, and the dedicated widow of Chilean folk icon Victor Jara, passed away leaving behind a legacy of perseverance and dedication to justice and memory. Born in England in 1927, Joan's life took a significant turn when she met Victor Jara at the University of Chile in 1961. Their lives intertwined in art and activism, with Joan being a distinguished dancer and Victor, a revered theater student and musician. The 1973 Chilean coup d'etat marked a tragic twist in her life, with the brutal assassination of her husband. Victor Jara's death in a stadium turned into a concentration camp became a symbol of the coup's cruelty. Joan identified his mutilated body, which bore the marks of severe torture and 44 bullet wounds. This personal tragedy transformed Joan into an unwavering advocate for justice and human rights. In exile, 
Joan changed her surname to Jara and committed herself to immortalizing Victor's work and values. She returned to Chile in 1984, fueled by a mission to rekindle his memory. Her efforts culminated in the establishment of the Victor Jara Foundation and the publication of an unfinished song, The Life of Victor Jara, in 1984, ensuring his spirit lived on through his music and story. In 2013, Joan initiated a civil lawsuit against Pedro Barrientos, a former military officer residing in Florida, for his alleged involvement in Victor's murder, a testament to her relentless pursuit of justice. Her unwavering dedication to her husband's legacy and her fight against the pact of silence within the Chilean military highlighted her profound impact and enduring spirit. Joan Jara, at 86, leaves behind a legacy that transcends time, immortalizing a story of love, loss, and the relentless pursuit of justice. Tribute to Joan Jara. Number 4. Anna Schur, pioneering drama teacher who shaped stars. Anna Schur, an influential drama teacher whose dedication profoundly impacted the British acting scene, passed away at the age of 78. She was renowned for her unique approach to nurturing working-class talent, shaping the careers of prominent actors including Kathy Burke, Daniel Kaluuya, and Adam Deacon. Born on December 26, 1944, in Cork to Irish Jewish parents, Scher began her career as an actress before transitioning into journalism with the Islington Gazette. However, her most significant contribution was founding the Anna Scher Theatre in 1968. This institution became a cradle for acting talent, welcoming students like Linda Robson, Pauline Quirk, Brooke Kinsella, Patsy Palmer, and Sid Owen. Scher's philosophy of promoting love, peace, and understanding resonated in her teaching methods. She believed in nurturing not just the acting skills, but the overall character of her students. Her passion for instilling knowledge and values was evident in her unique classroom traditions, like the Winston word exercise inspired by Winston Churchill's practice of learning a new word every day. Her death was announced by Nick Knight Management, who described her as the best and kindest drama teacher in the UK for the last 50 years. Tributes from former students and colleagues painted a picture of a compassionate and wise mentor whose influence extended beyond the stage. Kathy Burke hailed her as magnificently mighty and wonderful, while Brooke Kinsella credited her for changing the lives of many working-class children. Anna Scher's legacy lives on in the countless actors she nurtured and the positive impact she made on their lives, both professionally and personally. Her dedication to the arts and her students will be remembered as a beacon of inspiration and generosity. Tribute to Anna Scher. Number 3. M. Russell Ballard, a pillar of faith and leadership in the LDS Church. M. Russell Ballard, a prominent leader in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, passed away on November 12th at the age of 95 in Salt Lake City. His life was marked by dedicated service to his faith, including his role as the acting president of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles from 2018 until his death. Born on October 8, 1928 in Salt Lake City, Utah, Ballard's early life was deeply rooted in the LDS Church. After serving as a missionary in England, he continued to rise through the ranks of the church. He was ordained an apostle in 1985, following a life of varied service including roles as bishop, mission president, and member of the First Quorum of the Seventy. His leadership extended beyond spiritual guidance, overseeing significant events like the church's pioneer sesquicentennial in 1997. Aside from his religious contributions, Ballard was also a successful businessman in the automotive, real estate, and investment sectors. Despite facing challenges, including a difficult period with the Ford Motor Company and legal issues with Keystone Securities Corporation, he remained a respected figure in both business and religious circles. Ballard's family life was equally significant. 
he was married to Barbara Bowen, with whom he shared seven children. He was also connected to notable figures like John Huntsman Sr. and John Huntsman Jr. through his daughter Bryn's marriage to Peter R. Huntsman. Ballard's legacy is defined by his unwavering commitment to his faith, his leadership within the LDS Church, and his impact on the lives of countless individuals. His teachings and guidance as a prophet, seer, and revelator will be remembered by church members worldwide. Tribute to M. Russell Ballard. Number 2. Aldo Bet, a stalwart of Italian football. The football world mourns the loss of Aldo Bet, the legendary Italian footballer, passed away at the age of 74 in Varese after a long battle with illness. Bet, known for his time at Inter, Roma, and particularly Milan, leaves a lasting legacy in the world of football. Born in Moreno di Piave, Bet's journey in professional football began at Inter's youth setup. He made his Serie A debut in the 1967-68 season. The following season, under the guidance of Helenio Herrera, he transferred to Roma, where he made 130 appearances, won the Coppa Italia, and earned a call-up to the Italian national team. Bet's career saw a resurgence with Verona in the 1973-74 season, leading to his transfer to Milan. At Milan, he won another Coppa Italia, and played a pivotal role in the club's Serie A triumph in the 1978-79 season, marking Milan's 10th league title. He was known for his strong defensive partnership, first with Maurizio Tyrone and then with Franco Baresi. Despite not being a prolific goal scorer in the league, Bet made his mark in the Coppa Italia, scoring three goals. He represented the Italian national team, making his debut against Spain in 1971 and playing in a match against Austria. He also appeared for Italy's U23 and youth teams. Standing at 1.85 meters, Bet was an old-fashioned stopper, renowned for his robustness and physical presence on the field. His tenacious approach to marking opposing forwards left a significant impression. After hanging up his boots, Bet transitioned into coaching, taking roles at Pozzuoli, Campania, Nola, Frates and Savoia before retiring in 1987. His departure from the field is a poignant moment for Italian football, marking the end of an era for a player who embodied the spirit of the beautiful game. Tribute to Aldo Bet. Today's top headlines. News 1. In a major cabinet reshuffle, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has dismissed Suella Braverman from her role as Home Secretary. This dramatic move comes after Braverman defied Downing Street by publishing an article critical of the Metropolitan Police's handling of protests. James Cleverly, previously the Foreign Secretary, steps into the role, with former PM David Cameron surprisingly taking over as Foreign Secretary. Braverman, expressing her pride in serving as Home Secretary, described it as the greatest privilege of my life. Her dismissal sets off a series of changes. Steve Barkley replaces Therese Coffey as Environment Secretary, Victoria Atkins steps in as Health Secretary, and Richard Holden assumes the role of Tory Party Chairman. David Cameron, who left Parliament in 2016, returns to a high-profile role, raising eyebrows and prompting calls from the Liberal Democrats to block his peerage. This reshuffle marks a significant turn in Sunak's leadership as he prepares for the upcoming autumn statement and navigates the complexities of the current political landscape. News 2. A shooting incident occurred late November 12th night near the Georgetown home of President Joe Biden's granddaughter, Naomi Biden, involving Secret Service agents and suspects allegedly trying to break into a government vehicle. According to sources close to the situation, the incident happened just before midnight when agents confronted possibly three individuals breaking a window of a parked, unoccupied government car. A Secret Service spokesperson stated, During this encounter, a federal agent discharged a service weapon, and it is believed no one was struck. The suspects reportedly fled the scene in a red vehicle, 
triggering a regional lookout. Fortunately, there was no direct threat to any protectees, including Naomi Biden, though she was informed of the incident afterwards. The Metropolitan Police Department reported their involvement in the investigation, alongside the Secret Service. This incident comes amid a 98% year-to-date increase in motor vehicle thefts in Washington, D.C., according to MPD data. Naomi Biden, 29, a lawyer at Arnold and Amp, Porter and daughter of Hunter Biden, recently married Peter Neal in a White House ceremony in November 2022. The investigation into this alarming incident continues. News 3. Michael J. Fox, a beacon of resilience and optimism, has shared a candid update about living with Parkinson's disease, a condition he's been navigating since 1991. The 62-year-old actor gracing the cover of Town and Amp Country's philanthropy issue describes Parkinson's as a gift that keeps on taking, emphasizing how it has positively transformed his life. Fox's journey led to the establishment of the Michael J. Fox Foundation, dedicated to funding Parkinson's research and therapy development. Fox's path hasn't been without its hardships. He underwent surgery in 2018 for a spinal tumor, leading to an intensive recovery process. Following this, a kitchen accident resulted in multiple injuries, including broken bones, which he terms a tsunami of misfortune. Despite these challenges, Fox maintains a realistic yet hopeful outlook on his health and life. Fox's unfiltered sharing of his struggles and perseverance continues to inspire many. His story is a powerful reminder of the strength found in vulnerability and the human capacity to adapt and find hope in life's toughest moments. Barton Cowperthwaite, known for his role in Netflix's Tiny Pretty Things, has revealed a personal health challenge to his followers. The 31-year-old actor shared on Instagram that he has been diagnosed with a stage 2 glioma, a type of brain tumor. Accompanying his announcement were photos, likely of his CT scans, adding a poignant visual element to his disclosure. Cowperthwaite detailed in his post that brain surgery is the primary treatment for his condition. He conveyed a sense of cautious optimism, stating doctors believe most of the tumor can be removed allowing him to recover and return to his vibrant self. However, he acknowledged the necessity of ongoing scans and checkups in the future. While he prepares for surgery, planned for the middle or end of the next week, Cowperthwaite mentioned that he and his family are seeking second opinions. His determination to keep fans updated on his journey and to bounce back stronger has resonated with his audience. His co-stars from Tiny Pretty Things, Michael Shu Rosen and Brennan Klost, were among many who expressed their support in the comments. The National Cancer Institute notes that gliomas are common malignant primary brain tumors in adults, with higher grades indicating more severe prognoses. Cowperthwaite's openness about his health battle sheds light on the resilience and positive spirit he embodies as he faces this significant challenge. Number 1. Helena Pelagic, A Luminous Legacy in Speed Skating the sporting world mourns the loss of Helena Pilicic, an Olympic bronze medalist in speed skating, who passed away at the age of 92. Pilicic, a celebrated figure in Polish sports, left a memorable mark with her remarkable achievements. Pilicic's career was studded with success. She was not only an athlete, but also a teacher and coach, prominently representing the Elblag skating basin. She was a multi-champion and record holder in Poland, earning the silver medal in the 1960 World Championships in Ostersund in the 1,000 meters event. Her crowning achievement came in the 1960 Squaw Valley Olympics, where she won the bronze medal in the 1,500 meters. In her illustrious career, she amassed an impressive 37 Polish championship titles and set 40 national records. Even after retiring from active competition in 1972, Pilicic's passion for sport never waned. In 1997, she clinched a gold medal in the all-around category for athletes above 65 years at the Berlin track. Five years later, she continued her winning streak in the World Veterans Championships in Canada, triumphing in the 70-year-old category. Her contributions to sports were recognized with numerous honors, including the titles of Merited Master of Sport, the Silver and Bronze Medals for Outstanding Sports Achievements, and the Knight's Cross of the Order of Polonia Restituta. The Olympic family, along with Pelagic's family, friends, and admirers, deeply feels the loss of this sporting icon. 
Her legacy as a trailblazer in speed skating and a mentor to many will continue to inspire generations to come. Tribute to Helena Pielagic.